Hello little babies and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about something less eye related and more dinosaur related. How Agantosaurus, Tyrannosaurus and Spinosaurus are the perfect example of predatory diversification in a way we are not seeing anywhere today. So first of all, what are these three and why are these so special? Well first of all, all of them are the three giant theropods and in some regard all the biggest. Spino being the longest with 14 to 16 meters, Tyrannosaurus the heaviest with estimates of the biggest reaching up to 11 to 13 tons, such as E.D. Cope and Goliath, and Giga at least one of the tallest with over 4 meters. Now why are they the perfect example of predatory diversification? Let's first of all look at their skulls, for a better understanding and especially their teeth. Here we have Spinosaurus, conical, elongated, slim and pointed teeth. The skull was similar, long and slim, kind of similar to a gavial too, perfect for catching fish. But you know what's the deal here? Spinosaurus was one of the two apex carnivores of its ecosystem alongside Cacodontosaurus. And this trend will continue with the follow ups. Next, we have Gigantosaurus, decently long, strongly serrated teeth. The skull was long and sleek, but could still bring up a decent amount of power, yet it was way weaker than the one of the Tyrant King. This one had shorter, rounder, extremely strong teeth. And the skull was immense. Studies have shown that this therapy was able to bring up the highest light force of any land ever alive, with max estimates reaching up to 57,000 newtons. Now let's look at what these three predators were good at. Spinosaurus was great at fishing with the skull, being able to catch fish with great precision. Like I said, similar to a gavial. More crocodile-like was a Tyrannosaurus, it brought up sheer brute force. The entire animal was built for this, heavily built slow and strong, perfect for crushing the bones of its prey like Triceratops and Edmontosaurus, especially since Edmontosaurus was a lot faster than this. Agnotosaurus, however, had teeth that are not found in any type of animal of reptile to or reptile today. Serrated teeth. This is only seen in some types of sharks, and I will let you guess what these sharks hunt. <laughs> Seals, tunas, and small whales. All of those are big animals. The great white shark makes its prey bleed and cuts pieces of meat out of it. And Giga did the same. It hunted sauropods, prey which you can't just grab and crush their bones, they were simply way too big for that. Now with the serration however, you could slowly make these giants bleed or just rip pieces out of them and eat those. This technique is called flesh grazing by the way. Furthermore, as a comparison for Rex and Giga, Rex was far, far more agile than Giganotosaurus. And why? Because it had to, if it wanted to defeat prey like Triceratops, which it had to get around. Sauropods, however, were slow and agile. And just like that, Giga didn't need to be agile either. But you know what? All of those three were the top dog carnivores in the ecosystem and did really well, despite the differences, they were just perfectly built for the environment. And that's why I think these three are the perfect example of predatory diversification and why a thing as the perfect predator doesn't exist. Sorry Indos. Thanks for watching. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got to learn something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. See ya!